So y'all telling me he want to face me? Hell no. Nah. Young nigga, I got old cash spazzing on the ass. I got product on my whole ass. Got my What's going on? It's your man C to the J to the C. I already know how I be straight from Miami, Dade County, the three oh five. Man, y'all already know. Think my lips actually fuck. Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie though. Check out my story time playlist. What we doing here? It's me, the best story timer in YouTube. Stop. Hang with me, bruh. But today we're going to go straight to it. No time to converse. Nah, bruh. Y'all already know the slogan, bro. We're going straight to it. Today's story time is about the day I quit basketball. Like, why well, I don't play basketball no more. What happened? Like, what made me quit basketball, though? Y'all want to know? I got the jersey on already, so I need to tell y'all why I quit. All right, so I, what I used to do is train in Florida International University, FIU, down in Miami. And I had a trainer, he was showing me like ball handling and shooting. I had to get better in those aspects to become a complete player. I was a great defender. Like I averaged 10 blocks per game, 10 rebounds. You better ask somebody. <laughs> you better ask somebody though. So people always put me on their team for defending because they said, this guy shut down lockdown defense. Like Kawhi and Tony Allen could have a run for their money. How good of a defender I am. But when they, they never felt like, but we didn't put him in the, like, every time I try to shoot, they said, no, no, like, or try to do a layup, no, or even bounce the ball, no, just, just rebound and pass it to us, or basically block, or just do you, just defend, nothing else, we not, like, they paying me, niggas tell me what to do, like, they paying me, so that's how it was in the street, like, people knew me as a great defender, but the offensive player, they said I was trash, horrible, like, Sometimes I double dribble, sometimes I travel. I need to fix that. And I was tired of people making fun of me. So I got a trainer. I got the trainer. I paid like a couple of hundred dollars for like for like multiple sessions. But it was like a lot of things always came out. My trainer always canceled last minute. He was a good, great guy. To this day, we still keep me on time. Literally, like the other day he added me on Twitter. We haven't heard from you in a long time. But it's just like the commitment and consistency wasn't there for our training for me to be great. So until this day, like, I quit basketball. But let me tell y'all what happened, though. So what happened, though, was I was at FIU out playing, and people was just, people knew how great of a defender I was. So uh, he he do um the, my train would do bar hand skills with me, and he was showing me post moves, so like the bounce, the hoo -hoo, and then basically doing it. So I was learning different type of post moves, how to shoot, but you have to learn the muscle memory with the shooting, because my shooting was always off or over the court. Remember, I'm six three, like I always had big thoughts when the shooting. Like it's difference between shooting and at the net, like coof with the trash can, than shooting in real life. Like, your muscle memory has to be there, so your jumps are always there when you're pulling up, when you basically, like, I'm getting set up for the shot, all of that good shit. So, you have to learn how to shoot the mechanics of being a great shooter, the elbow, everything like that. That's what the train was basically showing me with it. So, so um, every, every time after a session, he would have one-on-one -on -one with me, like, basically said, like, try to do the, do the moves that you learned today against me and see if you could do them effectively. And that's what I loved about him, or like doing that, like basically making sure he didn't waste his time teaching you some moves that you basically not gonna do in the game, or basically don't have down pat. So, um, so yeah, I was basically doing a post move on like, like a dream shake and shit like that, and trying to like get him off his toe. But he always seen it coming because you did teach me the move. Like, what's this? Like, it makes sense and it don't make sense. The one I want makes sense because you want to see how effective I could do it, but it don't make sense because you know everything I'm gonna do because you just taught me it. Like, bruh. But like they always say, the student always have to pass the master. So one day, he told me to come and things like that. I got there, mind you, I, I'm taking bus. And it's like two bus rides to get there. Nigga wait like for after an hour to tell me he won't be able to make it. So I'm already on the court. I'm already on the court, bro. Wait for guy excited. Like just like did um like my stretching and my jump jack. Cause you have to do a stretch and jump jack. Trust me. Cause you gonna get hurt or like that, that muscle soreness gonna hurt you bad in the morning when you wake up. Especially if you haven't worked out for a minute. But basically it's like, 
I get there and then you text me, oh, you didn't make it there. Just when I just got down the bus. Not even like when I'm inside bus about to get down. And then if you text me, I'm like, oh, wait, bus driver could leave dead and on my way back home. It would still be, I would be mad, but not as mad because I get down, I'm on the court. Then you text me, oh, I got canceled. So I'm hella pissed off. I'm like, what the hell? What is this? I'm looking for training. I paid you for consistent training, but I'm not getting that consistency. So, um, when I get there, there was a few guys uh, um, basically playing basketball. They said, hey, yo, Jit, like, you know, down south, Miami, they count everybody. No, Jit is basically a young kid, like, uh, like someone that's younger than you. You call them a Jit because you a Jit. I'm an OG and you a Jit. Like, I know, I, like, I'm your spirit. Like, Jit, like, you a Jit. Like, you younger. Come on, you a Jit. All right. So he said, yo, Jit, like, um, you know how I play? And I was like, yeah, and things like that. And him, all right, who, who team you going to be? I'm like, this and that. And then he, I, I'll be in your team. He said, "All right, cool." And things like that. So, um, it was me and Buddy. And Buddy was probably like, I'm six three. He was probably like five eleven, not too far from me, but I was still taller. The guys who were facing, mind you, this nigga. That's one nigga. He's six. He was like, bro, like tall. Like this nigga, six seven or six eight or some shit like that. Then you had a fat nigga. So you got a tall nigga and a fat nigga. In my head, I'm like. Bro, we about to embarrass these niggas. Like, like, like tall niggas, like, to, to dribble and move, it's hard for them because it's like, oh, should I, unless you KD, but I'm like, the chance of you being KD on this court is slim. So he basically, a tall nigga, I'm like, all right, like, I'm about to, boy, like, you get me? Like, I'm about to ball. Then, so I'm the fit, but y'all know how I'm locked down defense. I'm ready to lock him down. Bruh, one minute, the guy right, and I've seen handles, but one minute, that six seven tall ass six eight tall ass nigga in my face right here. The next man, I'm, I'm coming at him where boom, like he hit me with a killer fast crossover that was deadly for a nigga that height, bro. Like he, we hit me with that Henny, bro. That Hennessy that got you wobbling back. Like he hit you with that AI Henny Ciroc mixed with that grape and shit. And then like, damn, it was nasty, bro. He went boom in the heat, bro. Ankles went like nobody ever did me that dirty. Ask anybody in Dade County, bro. Nobody ever did me that dirty. But nigga was six seven. You wasn't expecting handles like that. He just coming at me in slow motion. And hit me with that, pew, like, pew, like, I'm fast, nigga. And basically, like, he, he just, bro, I was on my, <laughs> he broke my ankles, bro. I stood back up. He said, you okay? I said, yeah, yeah. And I kept walking away. He said, where you going? Where you going? I, bro, I kept walking and never looked back. That type of embarrassment is something you can't stand. Like, bro, <laughs> like. I quit basketball after that. Like I was like, I see, like mm -hmm. I I was known for my defending and for that shit to happen to me. A great defender pride was hurt. A great defender pride was hurt. And I wasn't gonna stand for it. And that's all it is. All right, God, that's it for story time today. Remember, check out my story time playlist, bro. There's so much story time. Y'all gotta check out the best story time on YouTube. Yeah, I said it. And remember, like subscribe and comment bro you can't do one of them don't just like and don't subscribe and comment or just don't comment and don't like the video and not subscribe do all three like subscribe and comment and y'all already know it. this is your man c to the j to the c and i'm out be breezy